I've been quarantined three times so far this year for a total of six weeks. Uh, the first was early in the year, and then there were two almost consecutive in a row. I had one day in school, and then I was quarantined, so f almost four weeks in a row. How is it coping with that? Uh, it's difficult uh, on a personal level to be stuck at home for six weeks total, uh, and it's extremely difficult teaching from home. Not being able to be with students and work in the school, it makes it very hard at home to manage students in a classroom, students at home at the same time while I'm not in either one of those places. Um, I have plans for what I want to do when I'm in school and all those plans get thrown out the window for two weeks straight. I have to rewrite all the activities and labs that I'm working on and then um, after I rewrite them I have to move forward and try and go forward as best I can. I think the students are struggling across the board having learning in a hybrid model. When their teacher is quarantined, it makes it even harder uh, because there really is no, no personal interaction, um, any face-to-face -face interaction for two weeks or for, in my case for six weeks out of the year so far. The, um, the students are 100% virtual. I don't know that it makes a tremendous difference in their learning, but it, for the students who are hybrid students, it, I think it really has a negative impact. And of course, some of those students get quarantined also, so they're stuck at home, not interacting with any, not just me, with any of their teachers or any of their friends at the same time in the building. People want to get together over this coming holiday. Um, it, it makes it hard. It makes it hard to think that you need to think about other things other than just what you want to do uh, individually. Decisions that are being made at home have an impact on other students learning, teachers' ability to teach. Uh, so decisions are impacting more than just individuals.